one of the main places you're going to end up overpaying for rubber parts to refurbish your 244 is the pinch roller. What I found is that placement original pinch rollers, the sellers are kind of bundling them in kits. So you're paying, well, like £25 UK up to £35 UK. So I don't, what was that, dollars? 35 to $45. Whereas at one time, this part, that's a very good substitute. And at one point I was getting them for about a pound each. So like $2. If you bought more of them from certain suppliers, then you could get a, a lower price per unit. So let me talk you through this. Here's the original kind. This one, which is more likely red, but I don't have any of those left. AV1722. Quite often they had a reddish brown rubber on them. It's basically too wide that way. The rubber isn't, but the white plastic is. So what you end up doing is just holding it against surface, filing it like that until it moved in there freely. And then you would just put the original pin back. They seem to have dried up now. You'll see a lot of this kind, the AS2, labelled as replaces AV1722, though in fact it's got a larger hole. This kind still very readily available at the time of making this video, and they're cheap. Um, CPC in UK is where I'm getting them, paying about a pound and eight pence or something like that per unit. But in addition to being too wide that way and requiring all this palaver where you scrape it and then see whether it's going to fit in there. The hole's too big, so it's going to rattle about on that pin slightly. I say it causes pitch problems. I haven't actually had that problem, but I would suspect that it would do that. I wouldn't leave that to chance. It means you need to do a bit of drilling, find a new pin. So what I've been tending to do is take the next um, drill bit size up and, and drill through there so it's a little bit bigger. At the moment, I'm using parts from uh, Tasca and Porter 01. I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute, but I mean, if I run out of those parts, um, then what I'm gonna have to do is get some metal rod of the right width and cut it into short lengths. And then once it's put in it's not going to be a perfect fit with the drilled hole so solder in place so yeah I, i've got a pretty checkered history with the task Porto one i find them very difficult to work with because it has so many problems sometimes you can pick them up really cheap and i still buy them uh, for two reasons one of which is that the playback and record head and the erase head are compatible with the 244 and the 246 and the other thing is that usually the pinch rollers are in good condition they're of this type as2 and they've got an easily removed metal pin in them so i'll just take that out and use that pin so all i have to do is the drilling so far i haven't had had to find you know metal rod to substitute for the pin but i imagine that could be found very easily i'll take you through adapting this pinch roller assembly that's been removed from a late 80s Tascam Porta one. That's the battery powered square one, not the kind of bluish one that they made in the late 90s with, of the same name. Um, taking that pinch roller and the pin from it and adapting it for use for the pinch roller arm. This is the same part on both the Tascam 244 and the 246. I'm using a flathead screwdriver, but you know, get anything that's smaller than that space to push out that pin. Once it's pushed out, can grab the end with needle nose pliers. Oh, that was a bit of a fiddle getting that out. And I'm just gonna file down the plastic either side because at the moment the rubber's the right width, the plastic isn't. I find a circular motion parallel to the surface of the sandpaper's vest. So yeah, just a minute's work is gonna get you to a point where that fits in there okay. Now the problem we've got is the hole in this is bigger than the hole in this. So what I'm going to do, make this a bigger hole, same size as that pin with this drill bit. Got it set aside for specifically for that use, so I've kind of forgotten how wide it is. Let's look. I guess that's a 2mm high speed steel bit. Start with a 2mm bit and work up to 2.5 if you're not sure. So I had to go off screen there and charge my drill. Now that the battery's charged, I've got through that okay. What I'm left with though is there's a uh, burrs inside there that rub against the plastic of the new pinch roller. So I'll need to file them down. This is from a set of jewelers files. They're not expensive. I think the brand is Silverline. You can see I've filed that down now, and the pin that I removed from the Porta 1 fits in there. I mean, it's a little bit loose, but it's okay. What we'll do is tape it from one side just to hold it in place until we can solder it. Well, that's a pretty ugly solder there, but it would definitely stop that from coming out. At that point, you could take that off there. Be safe in the knowledge that that's going to stay in there. And obviously, if you ever needed to repair it again, then you'd just use some desoldering braid or a pump to remove that. I mean, if it ended up really protruding, you could file that down some more with your jewellery file. But I think that's probably fine the way it is. 